So I tried to say hi to Jimmy, and he's like, <laughs> first day. And then um, I think it was. Uh, I think <laughs> I started working at Masa, and I met uh, Jimmy, and um, um, funny story, when I first got there, I think so many people come trail at Masa, and they don't make it, I would say maybe 80%, maybe 90%, you know, they're gone the next day, so people don't pay attention, which is understandable in kitchen, right? So I tried to say hi to Jimmy, and he's like, <laughs> first day, and then um, I think it was, uh, I think... <laughs> <laughs> and then I think it was like second or third day, he came up to me and was like, hey, Michael, why you make uh, Korean makanai? And I said, okay. And I, inside I'm thinking, okay, fucker, I make you a nice meal. And then they respect me. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, over time, um, we, became, um, we became close, which I'm really grateful for. This knife was the first Korean knife that, um, that I bought. So right after I left Masa, um, I was at uh, Solo at the Sony Club, and being a kosher restaurant, um, we had to get all new knives. So the company um, bought us knives, and this is the one I chose, and I had to cut all the fish. And to this day, this is my favorite knife for, uh, for cutting fish. I think if I had to pick one, Yeah, I think this one. The yellow? Yeah, because uh, this is a uh, Yodaba, right? That one is the Yodaba, yeah. Yeah, and uh, this is a knife that I don't have. And um, this is, is going to be my next acquisition, so probably this one. Yeah. Beautiful handle, um, special. I love the backside. You know, a handle is really important. Like Chef, we always holding the knife for a pretty long time. Yeah. And, they're, they're, and they're, even here, right, they, they do. I, I love the, this. Details, like yeah. Details. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's very important. Nice yeah, even here, you know, to here, and then uh, sometimes you, you think uh, like uh, here, right, when it's sharp and it a little bit out and it a little cut because I got it so many. <laughs> <laughs> that little cut, little cut. Sometimes you don't even notice it, but how can my finger bleed? Yeah. <laughs> Where it come from? The broad and, and it after, yeah, yeah, after notice it's from the knife or some some age, you know. But this is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, Western knife is not bad because uh, they're roughly 50-50. Even if they're sharpened like 70-30, it's very easy to change it over. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, over the years, I got really good at um, um, creating my own edge, my own shinogi line, and so on and so forth. And um, so that's really easy. That takes like a couple of minutes. But these, obviously, you can't do that. So I have to get um, left-handed knives custom made. And even when I went to uh, Tokyo a couple years ago, looking for left-handed knives, a lot of them are kind of warped and weird shaped because craftsmen are not used to making left-handed. You know, which knife would you want to take with you home? I, I have an idea right there. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, it's taste. Yeah. Yeah, let's go take okay. a look at which one it is. Okay, was. look. Which one, Jeff? Uh, can I? So this one's a Shiro Honyaki. Shiro Honyaki. Shiro yes. Honyaki. Sakimaru Takubiki at 450 millimeters. I can touch it, right? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> 450, wow. So this one is the Wajima uh, Lacquer Saya with the Sakura design. Actually, I, I used one time, the, I have the long one, same, um, I used it for the, you know, what I cut it? What did you cut? Tamago. <laughs> whole, you know, whole tree tamago, because I only want... <laughs> 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 Pretty good. Got a very clean. Yeah, very clean. <laughs>